In this video, I'll show you how to use the calendar app on your iPhone to schedule events. Hi everyone, it's Matt from Greatness Every Day, and I'm excited to announce that today is the start of a new series for our channel. Every Tuesday, we're going to be putting out a video as part of our Tech Tuesday series involving technology, both simple and high tech, that leads to creating a better life for you. All right, so I'm gonna be reviewing some technology, whether that's something that I buy or something that a company contacts me about and I believe in, um, or it could be something like an app, for example, different software. Um, I have a standing desk that I'm really excited to be setting up soon. And I'm gonna be setting those up, showing those to you and how they can help you live a better life as well as kind of giving my own review on that. So um, if you wanna see more of those types of videos, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and stay tuned for a new video every Tuesday. In this video, I want to show you exactly how I use the calendar app on my iPhone to schedule an events, to keep track of what I have to do, and also use that to communicate back and forth between my other Apple devices, being my iPhone, my iPad, as well as my iMac computer. Um, it's a really useful tool that I do use. It helps me keep track of all of the things that I have to do, and it really um, easily shares it back and forth across those devices in case I don't have my phone on me, or maybe I've scheduled in something on my computer, and I'm out doing some errands, and I wanna see exactly when um, I'm supposed to be having a meeting with somebody, or I've scheduled a podcast, or uh, what quote I need to get up that day. So what I'm gonna do is just walk you through um, a screencast of how I set my events up, and really efficiently and easily hope to share that with you today. So let's jump into it. Go ahead and open the calendar app, and you notice first that we're kind of looking at the whole year at a glance. All right, I'm going to then go in and tap the month that I want to go into. So going into August now, um, today is specifically August 14th, so I'm gonna tap that day, and it brings up the entire day um, at a glance, I can scroll up and down. I don't have any events scheduled for today. And you'll notice here as well, there's a red um, line going across the top that says right now it's 1.29 p.m. All right, so that's telling me my current time. It's nice to see I don't have any events coming up yet. So we're going to add a new event by adding the uh, selecting the plus sign in the top right corner. And I'm going to title this, let's call it um, test event all right so below that you see that you can add a location if you choose to um, i do not choose to add a location 99 percent of the time that's just my personal preference but that is a neat feature that might help you then i can select is it an all-day event if it's an all-day event it will block out the entire day obviously uh, which i rarely do um, and i'm going to select a start time and an end time for this event so today is August 14th, 2018. I'm gonna select a start time of 1.35 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, I have my time zone. I have that it ends exactly one hour later at 2.35 and that's great. So um, then very quickly, I can just go ahead and click add and you'll see that it comes up as the test event in my series here. If I tap on it, it brings up a little bit more information. It says it goes from 1.35 p.m. to 2.35 p.m. This is a home calendar and uh, there's no alert. So that's kind of like the basic information that you can do to set up um, something in your schedule. But let's tap edit in the top right to add a little bit more features to our event in our calendar. Below that, you'll notice that you can select, does it repeat? So if I want something to repeat either every day, every week, um, or these other time periods, then I could select those. So maybe it's something like you want to remind yourself to take your medication. If you were to select every day at 135, then that would go ahead and do that for you. Um, in this case, I don't want to, but it is a good feature. So let's go back to edit event. Is there any travel time that you need to factor into your um, event that you're going to. It's a neat, really neat feature. Um, I never choose this though, to be honest. I need to budget my time manually. I shouldn't have an app telling me how to do that. Um, a feature that I really like is the calendar. So which calendar does it belong to? Um, you can see that I have three calendars there. I have my work calendar, so anything related to my job, 
I have my home calendar, anything that are specific family events or events that I'm interested in. Um, and then I have my workout or fitness events, kind of scheduling out my uh, workouts throughout the course of a week. It's really easy for me to see those three calendars and see the three colors, purple, blue, and green. And then that knows, uh, that tells me, I guess, how I'm spending my time, how much spending, how much time I'm spending working out compared to doing work, doing things that I enjoy and things like that. So we can go back to edit event. Do I want to be alerted? So there are some events that are important that I want to just quick reminder. So what I'm going to do is select an alert and I can either select at the time of the event, five minutes before, 10 minutes before, different time periods here. Um, so I'm going to select at the time of event. I really like being alerted um, just to make sure that I remember where I need to be, what I need to be doing and things like that. So that feature is definitely good. You do have the option of taking a second alert in case you, um, some people need those reminders and that's really all the information. You can add other things like notes, um, even a website in there if you want to. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go select done. And then you can see back here on my calendar that this event is about to happen. All right, so you can see now that the reminder popped up and when we go into our calendar, we're going to see that the test event is there. So one thing I'm going to do first is I want to then go over to my computer and I'm going to take this and go down into my calendar and you'll see if I was to take this calendar, you'll see that it pops up in terms of the 14th, I can see my test event is there. So basically what we have here is a really efficient way to kind of manage all of the events that we have going on over multiple different devices. Obviously, if you're on um, a Mac and using the Apple software and an internet connection, then you are able to communicate between those different devices. So now that you see how your phone and your computer can communicate back and forth, again, with an internet connection and the correct software. Um, if you want to delete that event, just select the event and then at the bottom of your screen, you'll see delete event, delete event, and you're confirming it, yes, and the delete is gone. So I hope that this video helps you figure out how to better use the calendar app on your phone. And if it did, please be sure to click the thumbs up button and let us know in the comments down below if you use this app and please subscribe to Greatness Every Day for more tips to live a great life. If it did, awesome. I'm glad to hear that and we'll see you next time with another video.